I can actually see one that is still halfway in the hillside. This is quite exciting actually. Here we go. That is a perfect example of what I've come to see. Look at that bad boy. Born from the land. Welcome back to the channel. I seem to have been down at this beach quite a lot of late, but I'm really enjoying it. This is Puriri Beach in Central Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. I wasn't planning to come back here so soon. We had a decent storm a while back, and apparently there are some spherical concretion boulders that have been exposed during the storm. They do happen from time to time along this coast. Apparently there's, there's maybe a dozen of these boulders knocking about along the beach somewhere. I'm going to go find them. Now, a few years ago, I was down in the South Island a famous place called Moraki Boulders and they've got all these spherical concretions and it just it's prehistoric it really is amazing stuff it makes some nice photographs I'll put a link to the video up there if you want to check it out well worth a look so I'm going to try and find these concretions we'll head south from my position hopefully we can find some of these boulders I'm not entirely sure if they're the south side or the north side so we're going to head south first because that's a, a shorter way north side is behind me towards that headland there if you can't find it this side we'll head to the other side see what i can find tonight hopefully we get a little bit of decent light towards sunset i've got to walk along the beach right to the southern tip of the beach there i definitely saw one it's not worth a photograph i've got these visions of the boulders have actually been at the water's edge and i think that's gonna look quite cool it's definitely not this side of the beach that is for sure approaching the northern end of the beach and as yet i can't see anything there may be a few boulders in the tide. Not sure if that's what I'm looking for. 100, 150 meters. The sun's going to be behind the headland. So I'm going to be in shade. If I do find one of these boulders, a photograph of it today is probably not going to happen. But I will get up first thing in the morning, get down here, dawn, sunrise, and see if we can make a nice shot. All right, we're just entering the shade now. And there we go, we're in the shade. I think these are what we're looking at. These are definitely what we're looking at. Here we go. I can actually see one that is still halfway in the hillside. This is quite exciting actually. Here we go. That is a perfect example of what I've come to see. Look at that bad boy. Born from the land. Now without getting too deep and technical about it and all geological, these are formed millions of years ago. And basically this is hard rock that gets trapped inside soft rock as the tectonic plates move and shift from time to time which they tend to do in New Zealand the harder rock spins and spins and spins and forms into these spherical concretions as storms come in coastal erosion takes place the softer rock is eaten away corroded away you get one of these beautiful incredible egg-shaped spherical concretions born down at Moraki the boulders tend to stay on the beach for quite a while there tends to be quite a lot on the beach at any one given time. This is the first time I've heard of this, this side of the country, and I'm blown away. Absolutely amazed. And looking round, you can see little little mounds in the water from time to time, and obviously the tide comes in, soft sand, they get buried. The light's crap on this rock at the moment, but I'm gonna get a photograph of this, just in case I come down in the morning and this thing's been buried or whatever. I, I don't know, maybe the tide's it, who knows? I'm gonna get a shot of it now, because it's here. Oh, beautiful. Now this is gonna be really easy, really quick and really easy. I've loaded a roll of Kodak Ektar 100 into the Bronica. We're just gonna get a shot of this as it is now because it just looks amazing, it really does. There's no light on this boulder. There is light on the back down hills and this just looks so, so incredibly beautiful. We're gonna probably shoot this around about 2.8, maybe 5.6 because I want the focus to be on this and not on the background. Oh, I don't know why I'm walking right up to the boulder to put my footprints on there when I can shoot it from here because it's the same consistent light here comes a little bit of water i don't know if it's going to be where i want it but i want to get a bit of bit of surf coming in just to give a bit of interest to the shot this looks incredible guys honestly you know geology it's one of those subjects i wish i'd have taken more interest in when i was younger so i might just get this shot now then i've got it in the bag because this shot in the morning is going to be spectacular if we get some nice dawn light and a nice sunrise this is going to be the place to shoot that's pretty cool that looks pretty cool to me anyway. It might be a hell of a long time before I see anything like this again on this coast. I'll take a couple of photographs and make the most of the experience. I'm absolutely fizzing because I know tomorrow morning this is going to be a spectacular shot if we get some good light on it. All right, let's just move, move around a bit. Here we go, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, tremendous, tremendous shot. Love it. I'm quite mindful not to take too many shots here because 
it's not the light that I want but I'm also mindful this is possibly a one-hit wonder I'm gonna shoot whatever I can while I can bag it off bloody seaweed now these are just common garden rocks boulders that have come down from the landslip probably the same material as the spherical concretions but these are certainly not spherical so I would imagine these are a lot younger than the round ones but if you look just up the beach there quite a nice egg-shaped concretion let's go check it out definitely definitely looks like there's been quite a few here actually so I've taken this shot we're gonna wander up the beach just to the point there looking at the tide that's probably about as far as we can get f 11 15th I brought the polarizer from the other kit as well all right polarizers on feet are cold that's quite nice with the water receding polarizer is making quite a difference actually I'm gonna push onto that point at the edge of the beach and see what we can see what a beautiful sight to the beach this is stunning that is stunning I'm gonna make a photograph of that Once again, I'm just going to wait until we get some surf coming through. Now, the only reason I knew about this, the newspaper that I work for, we had a piece in the paper the other day. A lady who lives locally, she took some photographs of these concretions. The paper interviewed her. She got some lovely photographs. If ever she sees this little video, thank you kindly for the heads up. Really do appreciate it. Without your local knowledge, I would never have known about this. So I'm, uh, I'm over the moon about it. I really am. Oh, ho, 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 man. Loving it, loving it, loving it. It's just nice with that last little bit of golden light on there. Beautiful. That is looking pretty tasty. The light really is starting to fade now. Let's call it a draw, guys, from this location. But well, the priority is to be here in the morning. back down at this rock that's giving birth and the tide is coming in quite quickly so I'm going to set up the camera and get a shot of this boulder coming out of the land with the water rushing towards it let's try and make that work f11 eighth of a second this will definitely be the last shot this is quite quite beautiful come on get some surf up here makes you wonder over the years how many of these boulders have been spat out of the land here we go here we go here we go a bit of surf bit of surf bit of surf is it enough now there's not we want some more want some more quite amazing to see these things something you don't see along this coast too often here we go here we go showtime yes 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 beautiful here we go oh tremendous shoot another one as it recedes beautiful that guys will do us because tomorrow the light show starts, hopefully. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. It's gorgeous. Right, now let's get pushed on pre-dawn it's just starting to get light now dawn is around about five minutes time there's no color whatsoever in the sky yet there's a lot more cloud on the horizon than i was hoping for the high tide was about 45 minutes ago so it's just starting to recede a little bit now which is great but i'm just still a little bit cagey because every now and then you get a wave that comes up the boulder that i'm aiming for that i shot yesterday is just around the corner there i can see it from here but like i say every now and then a wave comes in and doesn't give me much uh, much room to get away but it is receding so that's that's good <laughs> Bronica ETRSI, Kodak Ektar 100, 50mm lens. I'm here, my gear's here, the rock's here. Just need the light to turn up. Come on, we can do this. I've just got to time this and work really, really fast to get there, get my shot and get away. Just a tiny little bit of colour in the sky, but it's not much. Grab the camera, get down there, get a shot. Get a little bit of gentle surf coming in. That'll be quite nice. 
such a shame we've got no light on that. Golden rain, bring you a chip. Still F11. One second. Is that going to get to me? Yeah, it's close. Well, it's cold, it's windy, the light's not playing ball. I'm going to have a long wait for the sun to get above those clouds on the horizon. A little bit of surf, here we go, maybe. Yeah, this might work. This might do it. Not too bad. No surf around the initial boulder, just out to the frame. There's another boulder. I've got the surf swirling around that. F11, eighth of a second. I've tried the other side of the boulder, but it's not really working that way. This side is so much better looking into the sun, but once that sun does come through and cast some decent light onto the boulder, I will go the other side. I quite like it from here because as I've got it framed, you've got the incoming surf, which is there. That's my last frame done. Looks like loading another roll of film. So I quite like that shot. Oh, my fingers are so cold. Just gonna slip another roll of film into the bron. Roll that bad boy up first. We're a couple of hours after high tide now, and the tide is that. Oh, my fingers. And the tide is certainly on its way out, which is good. We've not had a big surge for a good 10, 15 minutes now, so. I don't think it's going to be pretty safe to start wandering along the beach. Sound like a few different shots. We've got some milky sunlight coming through now. All right, that's it. We're set. Dark slide out. Put this film in the bag out of the way. Nice and safe. So cold, so cold. Fingers are cold. That's actually a nice shot. It's not intense sunlight, but it's gorgeous. Here we go. This could be a nice shot. Get ready to get the camera lifted up. Oh, mate, I missed that one. Yeah, definitely, definitely missed that one. Just as the surf hit the boulder, there's a big clump of oh. white foam hitting the boulder. That would look pretty cool, but I, uh, I'm pretty sure I missed it. These things happen, this might get another chance, you never know. That is framed really nicely. Boulder, headland, wet beach, milky sunlight, bit of cloud above it, bit of surf coming in every now and then. Like this, here we go. Nice. Nice, 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 my brother. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. That's there a couple of nice shots actually. Oh god, it's fucking freezing, man. Can we get a shot out of this side? Yeah, I think it's worth a shot. That wind now. Oh, cold. Bitter, bitter, bitter cold. Just wait for a bit of surf coming around the rock. I'm not even actually keen on this. I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. It's just needing a little bit of surf. Oh god. Cold. Here we go, here we go. Surfy time. Beautiful. Another shot in the bag. Another shot in the bag. The sunlight is trying to get through. F11 15th. Let's get that quickly before that light goes. That is quite nice light actually. Gonna get that in the bag. I'd soon have a little bit of surf coming up there again. But that little bit of light, it's not much. It's not much at all. It's lighting up that cloud behind. It looks pretty cool. Ah, it's so weak. That light is so weak. Ah. My eyes are bleeding. So tired, so cold. The wind is howling. So you can just get a bit of surf. Here we go. A little bit of surf. A little bit of surf is going to do well. Nice. Nice. All right. That is quite nice, actually. That is lovely. Last shot before we call it a draw. And I know they say never turn your back on the sea, but I think this shot is worth a little bit of risk. This is going to put the uh, the rock in context of where it's come from. 
loving it absolutely loving it all right two frames left on this roll of film so i'm going to call it a draw for now listen it's been a fantastic fantastic morning yesterday was good this morning's been fantastic bloody cold all right guys hope you enjoyed this until next time catch you later